Hi and welcome to How to Prepare for Your Well Test with the CWB Group. I'm Donna and I'm joined today by Daniela and we're going to walk you through the steps of your well test. Today we're going to look at the difference between option 1 and option 2 of figure 8 from CSA W47.1. As you can see, option 1 called a 1GF plate has the fillet and the bevel built in. Option 2 is a V-groove on backing with a separate fillet well test in a T-joint. All test plates today will be welded with the gas shielded flux core arc welding process. Now let's look at our safety gear. We have our safety glasses, our welding beanie, welding gloves, helmet and of course our earplugs to help with noise reduction and to stop sparks and spatter entering the ear canal. We have our welding jacket and of course our approved welder safety boots. Now that we have looked at our safety gear, let's look at some of the tools we'll be using today. So we have our wire-fed welding machine with our flux core wire already loaded. Uh, we're hooked up to our 7525 uh, shielding gas. We'll be using a grinder with a wire wheel. And please remember you cannot use a grinding disc during the test. Uh, wire brush, our comp, uh, some magnets. We have our chipping hammer, uh, snips for cutting our wire, our soapstone, and our combination square. Now we are moving on to the setup and welding of our test plates. First, Daniela is going to ensure all mill scale is grinded off to a distance of 50 millimeters from the weld zone and she is welding on a clean surface. Once the plates are clean, we will tack them up using our own custom jigs. You can also assemble them without jigs or purchase them pre-made. Before welding, always snip the tip of the wire for easier arc initiation. Then tack the backing bar to the plates in four places. We'll then do the same with option two, which is the V-groove on back. And we will then tack our T-joint using the magnets. Your CWB rep will now mark your plates and stamp the identification numbers on options one, two, and on the T-joint. Daniela can now weld the fillet side of the test plate to the stop mark and clean. and then weld the bevel side to the other stop mark and clean also. The maximum size of the fillet weld is eight millimeters. I will then examine. Okay, both welds look good. You can now continue these passes and then finish out the rest of the test plate. Now that all three test plates have been completed, we can measure the reinforcement height with our bridge cam gauge, and we can measure our leg sizes with our fillet gauges. Okay, everything is a visual pass, so now you can grind off your cap and mill your backing plate. Then the test plate will be sent to have the backing bar removed, and will then be cut into three test coupons. Here we have our test plate cut into coupons. We can now disregard our end pieces, and our three coupons can be sent for bending. Our option one test plate has been bent and shows no signs of discontinuities or defects and is therefore a pass. Our option two test plate has been bent and shows no signs of discontinuities or defects and is therefore a pass. Our fillet weld is showing fusion to the root in both sections. And in the brake test, there is no signs of discontinuities or defects and is also a pass. 